Have you ever planted something and you had great expectations for it and, and it just didn't work out the way you expected it to? For whatever reason, welcome to my garden. <laughs> Today I'm gonna to be doing some remedial work, uh, maybe some rescuing. What I have here in front of me, and which you really probably can't see, is a Crimson Kiss Swigelia and a Mr. Poppins. Yeah, Mr. Poppins. I have a Berry Poppins over by the greenhouse. That's a whole nother story. We're gonna get to that in a little while. And I also have some other shrubs which also aren't doing good. But first we're gonna start with these two. I'm at the far end of the orchard, the furthest extent of my property towards this side. This wooded area behind me belongs to someone else. And I wanted to plant up sort of a hedge line, hedge row here of various different shrubs because one of the things I wanted to do when I started gardening was grow as many different types of plants as possible. Learn from them and experience them and, and, and why, why not grow Wygelia or why not grow a Mr. Poppins or, you know, so I just wanted to grow as much as possible. And sort of this back row over here that I'm standing at would be a good place just to have various different types of shrubs, flowering and non-flowering. Unfortunately, again, for various reasons, it's just, things just haven't worked out well, especially for these two shrubs. I'm not even sure Mr. Poppins is still alive. So what we're gonna do in the first part of today's adventure is dig up both these plants and check them out, see if they're still alive, still viable. And I think the white gelia really is, but I'm not sure about the Mr. Poppins. Either way, we're gonna rescue them. But then I need to put something in this space. And that's where the second part will fill that in. We'll, we're gonna put something else back in this space after we re dig these two out. And then I'll show you what we're gonna do with these guys. I hope you guys are enjoying the Garden Blitz series that I'm doing here, where I do a video every single day for the next 30 days, hopefully. Uh, I make no guarantees nor promises that I will make it to the 30 days, but I'm trying. And I think this video is day five. Yeah, day five. I have a lot of tasks that still need to be done here around the garden for the fall and planting and transplanting now during the fall is probably the best, one of the best times to do it. Obviously you could do it in the heat of the summer. There's a lot more risk of losing a plant for due to transplant shock and all that other good jazz. But now while things are cooler, in fact, you can see I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt today, uh, is a pretty good time to do some transplanting. There was a little dog behind me, there she is. Sophie's gonna help me today. First plant I think we're gonna go for is Mr. Poppins here. Now I bought Mr. Poppins from, I believe, Arbor Day Foundation. It was a discounted plant, it was small. I think the berries thing was the thing that attracted me. And I bought Mrs. Poppins last year, but then it died. And then I bought it again this year and it's still alive in a pot by the greenhouse. And I don't see a lot of fire ant activity. This is also important. There are a lot of, there's a lot of grass here. Mr. Poppins here looks very rough. There is a singular green leaf left here. All right. So there's a couple of leaves on here. It does look in really rough condition, but Looking at the roots, they actually look fairly good. I, I think I don't see uh, I don't see a lot of root rot. They are a little compacted, but overall I think it's okay. So what I'm going to do, hopefully I'm in shot here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this back to the uh, greenhouse and we're going to pot this up and we'll keep it in a pot temporarily until I plant it out, which I think I now I'm going to put this in the rose garden next year or the year after. And next, I'm gonna dig up the Crimson Kiss, Crimson Kiss Wygelia. Now this one did have quite a bit of growth this year, or at least uh, it looked that way. And it also had some flowers, which did look quite lovely. But unfortunately, it just doesn't seem to be doing that well in this spot. So we're gonna see about maybe getting this guy out of the ground. This one, I think the roots look okay-ish. But nothing, it doesn't, again, didn't seem to be thriving in this location. It again, could have had something to do with the soil, which is always very important. So hopefully you can see the leaves here. And hopefully you can see all the spent flower buds. 
The root system I would have expected to be more extensive. It could be, it could be insect pressure. It could just be the bad soil I have here. It could be numerous things, but overall the roots look okay-ish. So with this one as well, I'm gonna put it in a temporary pot and I think this will eventually get transplanted out into the rose garden. So let me put this in its bucket. I'm gonna give this little strip right here a little bit of a haircut with the weed whacker. And then I'm gonna dig some new holes for the plants, for the shrubs that are gonna get transplanted over here. So I'll show you that in a second. Let's go find the shrubs that I'm gonna go plant in these holes. Because I'm a great YouTuber, I failed to record the digging up of these sunshine ligustrum, which if you remember, were out on the street side of the orchard. As I stated before, which you didn't hear because I didn't hit record. Oh, idiot. These, these should be a whole lot larger. They're about four years old. They should be a whole lot larger and they're not. So, well, they were probably in the wrong spot and what I'm gonna try to do is plant them in this spot and hopefully they do better. Enough talking. Let's hit the music and go. Well, all right, all three sunshine ligustrums are planted up. I don't know guys if you guys can see, but there's a Japanese holly here. It does break up the row of sunshine ligustrums, but that's okay. I'm, I'm all right with that. I don't need to dig it up. I don't need to put all the sunshine ligustrums together. What I want is good, healthy plants, and I want these sunshine ligustrums to grow a whole lot more than they have. And hopefully in this new spot here, where they will get a little bit more sun and I've given them some fresh compost around their roots. Hopefully they start growing and thriving. Let's go take care of those first two bushes that I dug up. Okay, so we rescued those two bushes and again, my plan is to eventually put them in the rose garden. So these will get added to that future plan that I have for the back of the rose garden, which I will talk about in another video. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, click that bell icon to be notified when I do post a new video. This way you can follow along with my adventures and misadventures. Enough of that, let's drop these into some pots. You know, when you buy shrubs or really any other plant from the garden center or big box store or wherever, I think it's a good idea if you can to hold on to these pots, but some of these pots are really durable. Free pots, always great for circumstances like this when you need a temporary pot to hold the plant before you put it someplace else. So let me shut up with that and grab some dirt. I'm using Daddy Pete's Sea and Farm Potting Soil. It's very good. It's on the pricey side, but it is very good. It's got all sorts of good stuff, nutrients, whatnot in it, and it's made by a local vendor. I believe Daddy Pete's only sells in the southeastern United States. So uh, if you're in the Southeastern United States, check out your local garden center or check out the Daddy Pete's website to see if they sell near you. Either way, not sponsored. I'm gonna throw that out there. I wish they were sponsored. Daddy Pete's, if you're listening to this, I could use a pallet of this next spring. If you'd be so kind, maybe, please. Anyways, oh, what's this one? Mr. Poppins. So this is the one that looks really rough and I don't know if it's gonna make it through the winter, honestly. You know, it's got a couple of leaves on it, but it looks really, really rough, so. Again, we're just going to uh, pot it up. Hope for the best. If it does survive, it will go into the rose garden eventually. There we go. A little bit more. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. You can click the bell icon to be notified when I do post a new video, but you don't have to. You can uh, check out the playlist. If you're new to the channel and you want to catch up on some of my shenanigans or see where my garden has come from to where it is today, you can go back and watch some of those videos. I made, forewarning, I made some awfully bad videos back in the day. Not that this video is any bad, but there, there were some pretty bad ones back then. And this next one, which looks slightly better, but still on the rough side, is the Crimson Kiss, Chris, Crimson Kiss Wygelia. Woof, words are hard. Again, this one I'm gonna get into the pot here. Don't forget to label your plants so you don't forget, especially once you start losing what's left of your mind. The next person behind you will know what plants are which. 
and of course give them a good thorough soak. It hasn't rained here in Eastern North Carolina where I am for about a month now. So everything is quite dry and very concerned about my younger plants. I'm really, really, really hoping for rain soon. I'm getting to the point where I might start doing a rain dance soon. I know, that's, it's that desperate. No one wants to see me dancing around and out in the field. That's just silly. Now, because these are freshly dug up and watered into these pots, they are probably experiencing a bit of sh transplant shock. So what I will do is I will place them underneath the shade cloth that will be coming up soon and stresses the plant out a little less. And then hopefully in a year, next year or the year after, I'll be planting them out into the rose garden and I have an idea as to where I want them. But of course, plans always change. So if you haven't checked out all the links in the description, please check out all the links in the description. Did you know I've written a couple of books? Three books, three books, three books, three books. <laughs> you can go check those links out as well in the description or just go over to growinggreenfinger.com and see all the good stuff I've got over there. Any words, advice, wisdom, suggestions, or just making a random comment, please leave those comments below. And uh, I think with that, I'm gonna catch you on the next one. Oh, and I'm gonna go water those other plants too. I'll catch you on the next one.